What are some inexpensive things you can do to help your home sell faster? Tip number one, keep your yard mowed. We are coming into the spring season. If you've not mowed yet, you probably need to. So while you have your home on the market, keep the yard mowed. Once a week, that's all you need, more than likely. Make it look good. Second thing, plant some low maintenance flowers or shrubs along your curb. Make it look a little bit better on the outside of the house. Wash your windows. And I don't know why, but I can remember growing up, spring cleaning, right? We all had it. And that was part of the spring cleaning ritual was you went through and all the windows got cleaned, not just the inside, but the outside of the windows. And that makes a huge difference, not just with how clean they look, but with the amount of sunlight that will come in and the overall lighting in the house. So take time to get your windows clean. Number four, maybe paint your front door, update the hardware. That's a relatively inexpensive fix. I'm not telling you to go out and buy a new front door, but just paint it fresh, vibrant color, replace your hardware so that it's not the 1970s brass look. It'll make a difference to buyers when they come up to that door. Declutter your house. Nothing is worse to a buyer than to walk in and be hit with somebody else's stuff, right? They can't even see the house and the structure itself for all the different things chalked away, put against the wall. You've got a pathway to walk through the home. Declutter your house, get as much stuff out as you can before you put it on the market. Have a yard sale, get rid of stuff that you don't need. Deep clean your house. Again, I'm throwing back to growing up and we always had spring cleaning time. Go through, clean your windows first because that's gonna allow more light in so that you can see the things that you need to address inside your home. Nothing makes me feel better than to go through and do a deep clean of my house and I feel so accomplished and I have a nice clean house to do. I would tell you that you need to address minor repairs that you know about, anything like a leaky faucet, a squeaky door, a little WD-40, never hurt nobody, and loose handles on the cabinets or the drawers. If you have light bulbs that need to be replaced, go ahead and replace those. LED lighting, you'd be amazed at how much light an LED light will put out. So maybe look at getting LED bulbs. Number eight is make sure that you open the blinds for your showings. Now that costs you absolutely nothing but about two minutes of your time, right? But if you have enough notice of a showing, go through, open the blinds before the showing, let that natural light come in. Rearrange your furniture to create a flow that showcases the room effectively. So if people are having to weave in and out of your sectional and your recliners, or there's this much room between the chair at the dining room table and the china cabinet, work something out. Make it to where every room seems spacious, the furniture fits nicely, and you don't feel like you're having to navigate a maze to get from one room to the other. The last thing I'm going to tell you is make sure your home smells fresh. I'm not telling you to go out and buy Glade plug-ins and have them in every room, especially if you're going to buy 10 different scents. Nothing will overpower a buyer more than to walk into a house that has Glade plug-ins everywhere. And the number one question that buyer is going to ask is, what are they covering up? Why do they have all these plug-ins? When I say ensure your home smells fresh, that means neutralize any pet odors. If you've smoked in your house, get rid of that odor, and that's going to be harder than you probably think. And if you cook in your house a lot, and maybe you like to cook some ethnic foods that have a strong smell, you need to neutralize those odors as well. And doing the deep clean will definitely help with that. So that is my 10 tips for inexpensive things you can do to help maximize your home's value.